We go now to Republican Congressman Ken Buck, also from the state of Colorado. He announced his retirement from Congress earlier this month. Good morning to you, sir. You still got a bit of business to handle uh, in these next few weeks, that's for sure. Um, Congress has a lengthy to-do list, reauthorizing the FAA, finishing the defense bill, taking on all of these supplemental requests from President Biden. Can you get all of that done in the remaining weeks? We can. Uh, we have three weeks of legislative business ahead of us, um, if not more, and uh, we can get those things done, and they're very important to get done. You have, um, on that issue of Ukraine, which I understand is controversial among some Republicans, you are part of the Freedom Caucus. That's put you more to the, to the right of your party, but you are for aid to Ukraine. I'm wondering if you think it is possible to do what Senator Bennett Bennett just laid out and said was essential, which is have that aid passed no matter what, uh, you know, even if it doesn't get bundled with the border bill. I think it's absolutely essential to get aid to Ukraine. I think President Biden has slow walked different types of military equipment that Ukraine has needed. And we need to make sure that they have the very best equipment um, and support that we can give them in, in fighting the Russians. I hope it gets done. The question, uh, Margaret, is always where does the money come from? And so to uh, expect that the Democrats help us find ways to pay for the Israel aid and the Ukraine aid, I think is absolutely fair for the Senate. We've already sent the Israel aid to the Senate. It is sitting there, has been for weeks. Um, they have done nothing. Um, I, I think that's irresponsible. We need to work together to find ways to pay for this aid and then to make sure that both the Israel aid and the Ukraine aid are, are sent to those countries. Well, you voted against this latest short-term spending bill to keep the government open. Um, do you anticipate that the new Speaker of the House, um, Speaker Johnson, will face more of a rebellion from, from the right flank of your party if he tries to partner with Democrats on this? I, I don't think that uh, most Republicans blame Speaker Johnson for the problems that uh, he is now facing, the challenges he's facing. Those were created during the McCarthy time period, um, and uh, Speaker Johnson is doing a good job to work his way through those issues. So, no, I don't think he's going to face a rebellion. I think he's going to face uh, support when he finds ways to reduce our national spending, our $36 trillion debt at the end of next year, $1 trillion of, of uh, uh, money that is being spent to service that debt. Those are real existential issues that America needs to deal with. And I think Speaker Johnson's going about it the right way.